Greetings, Commander Shepard. Huh. What are you? I'm Glyph, a VI assistant to Dr. Tassoni. I help her sort and catalog collected data. She's asked me to draw your attention to a terminal connected to her information network. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Shepard, what's happening? Something's in the AI core. Edie, you'd better go quickly. I'll check on my own computers. Running safe mode diagnostics. Please stand by. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Edie, you'd better go quickly. Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. We'll follow your lead. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. It could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that we can agree. Dreadnoughts 
have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look... Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. What you saw back on Palavin is proof of that. Still not convinced I should have left it behind. We're not gonna beat the Reapers by second-guessing ourselves, Garrus. I need you at your best. Every decision we make is the right one. And when we're wrong? We haven't been so far. There are times I wish we were. Convincing my people the end was coming got pretty rough. They didn't want to hear it. Finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. Not like the old days, is it? We're actually respectable now. We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. Just give the word. Something else you want to talk about? That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. Without that beacon's warning, the Citadel species would have been taken by surprise. Right. So any other Prothean artifact on Eden Prime could be just as important. 
And this time, you'll be here to help with whatever we find. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. will rebuild once Cerberus had been destroyed. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Can you tell us anything about this artifact, Dr. Tosoni? I can't tell much from here, but it's from their final dynasty. Functional, but without the decoration of earlier periods. Archaeologists always wondered why Prothean architecture became simpler at the end. It's clear now. They were too busy fighting the Reapers to care about aesthetics. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. There's the elevator that leads to the dig site. Good. Now we can find out... Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? Cerberus has recovered a Prothean corpse? No. Cerberus found a living Prothean. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. The Protheans had powerful stasis technology. That's the only reason any of their artifacts survived intact. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are!
intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Cerberus out of their colony. footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. I think I can 
duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean Beacon. You had a vision of the Reapers last time you were here on Eden Prime. It must attune your mind to understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal.
I never thought our empire would fall. It won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to Dark Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life forms. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Understood that one too? Yeah. I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Backup forces are here.
have retracted the bridge. We'll need to locate the control. No time. Let's find another way across. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Cerberus has heavy forces incoming. We'll need to hold this position.
Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. Or set up preparations for the next wave. Has the life pod in in stasis mode? It should not be much longer. We should look for ways to hamper the enemy's approach. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access.
It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardments. Get to your life pod now! your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Synthetic. This is not a good beginning. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. A living Prothean? That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations.
But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? I prefer Commander. And we did our best with what we knew. Your message wasn't exactly specific. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits, bravery, strength, cunning, a single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die... ...will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. 
They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. <laughs>